So, you're hanging out at home Saturday afternoon. You're supposed to have Sunday morning off when your phone buzzes and it's your worship leader. Hey, so-and-so is out sick. Is there any way that you could sit in with the band on keys tomorrow morning? And you have a desire to serve, so you say, sure. I got it. What's the set list? You don't have much time to prepare, but you want to bring something excellent. Today, we're going to talk through how you can build a last minute set list without getting super stressed and still sound amazing. So we're going to build this set list in the Sunday Keys app. If you use the main stage or Ableton Live format of Sunday Keys, all of the sounds I'll choose are also available in those formats, so you can follow right along. Now I'm going to go into the app and tap this icon up here to open the set list browser and we have to create a new set list. And I'm just going to name it Last Minute. And I'm sure if you've played in church more than one time, you can relate to the feeling of these last minute moments of preparation. Whether you get added to the schedule at the last second or the set list changes magically between Thursday night rehearsal and Sunday morning, rather than be grumpy about it, we can try to come prepared as best as possible. So we have three songs in this Hypothetical set list. Worship leader, what's the first song? Battle Belongs. Battle Belongs. Okay, we're gonna create a new patch for Battle Belongs. And we don't have tons of time to prepare. So we're just gonna keep things simple. Maybe we don't even know which other people are on the schedule. So we just have to come prepared to cover the bases. So I'm gonna add a sound and we're gonna choose stuff that I know will land. I'm gonna bring in a grand piano sound. or I could pick this one. This is really, really a big sort of warm piano. I'm gonna pick that. And then I know that I need a nice pad. And Wickham is often pulling in this sort of big ambient organ sound. So I'm gonna choose the organ pad. And of course, it gets brighter as I move up the mod wheel. Okay, cool. So I know that this combination will work. Okay, awesome. So next up, I'm gonna add a little bit of color, some texture. Let's bring in an arpeggiated sound. I'm gonna go here and choose, let's try out this simple worship art. Okay, cool. And then I'm going to bring the tempo down. I can tap this in. I can adjust it here. Or if I wanted to, I could go to settings and set the specific tempo of this song. Or I can open up patch settings and set the patch to automatically recall the right tempo. Hey, worship leader, what's the tempo? 81 in D flat. 81. D flat. Okay. D flat. There we go. Awesome, so we got this arpeggiated sound. I think I'm gonna bring in one more sort of bright pad to just do the sizzly thing when we get into the big parts. So maybe this big trance pad. Or we could try this silky velo string. I like that, okay. We've got one potential sound module left, so let's go ahead and add a nice sub bass sound. Bring that volume down a little bit. And I'm really quickly making these decisions because I know I'm gonna have to refine it during rehearsal and sound check on Sunday morning. I just wanna have all of my options open. Nice. Okay, so this is probably where I'm gonna end things up. Nice and big with my mod wheel, relatively bright. So I'm gonna save this to my third snapshot by tapping the empty snapshot and hitting save. Then I'm gonna build sort of a middle ground snapshot, maybe without that sub bass and that arp more subdued. Maybe that second pad's not in the mix too much. I'm gonna hit save there. And then I've got my default snapshot here that I can adjust. And this is where I'm going to start the song. So I know that that's going to be a little bit quieter. I'm going to bring that down to about here. Mostly piano. 
a little bit of that organ. Yeah, that's feeling nice. Okay, so now I have three snapshots to move through sort of the dynamic moments of the song. If I had more time, I'd probably get through and program a snapshot per part of the song. But remember, it's Saturday afternoon. I've only got 12 hours to turn this around. So I've got small, medium, and large. I'm gonna go ahead and name these quiet, and we'll name this one building. And then lastly, we've got our big moment, and we'll just name it big. I can quickly and smoothly move through the dynamic steps of the song. Okay, this feels really good, and I'm just using the default snapshot transitions. You'll notice when I pick one snapshot or another, this really nice time to fade for the faders, and the mod wheel is taking place. I'm using the default transition settings, which you can adjust here in the menu if you go to snapshots. So right now it's set to four seconds. If that felt a little slower, I could bring it up to two seconds, and all of these will happen a bit faster. I could also long press on any one snapshot and choose customize if I wanted to dial in a very specific transition for one snapshot. But because I don't have much time to prepare, using the defaults still gives me seamless fades and I'm gonna sound great and I don't have to put extra time into dialing in each unique snapshot. Okay, so we've got Battle Belongs ready to go. Worship leader, what's the second song? Graves into Gardens. What key? B. So let's try and do this even faster. We're gonna add a patch from the library and see if we can find one that's ready to go for this feel. So I'm gonna just kind of explore a few different options. Let's see, how about Grand Beyond Measure. Let's see how that feels in B. Seems nice, it's already covering a bunch of that big space. Let's see what else we have. We can audition this one. I like the piano, but it doesn't get quite as big. How about this one? That feels nice and it has an organ in there. It's definitely on the original, so I'm just gonna pull this in. So now we can see Ready For Anything. That's the name of this patch. It's a stock patch in the Sunday Keys Library. First thing I'm gonna do is rename it. So Graves Into Gardens. There we go. And then we're gonna go to the key of B for Play In and Hear In. Worship Leader, what was that tempo? 70. 70. So we'll just tap that down here. And then we will set in patch settings that that tempo will be recalled automatically. Okay, so. Okay, so I've already got five layers. I just have to figure out how I'm going to move through them. So I'm gonna take the same approach and build small, medium, and large. I'm gonna to start to build this up. That sounds really nice. You know what, I'm gonna swap out this one sound with an organ because I really wanna capture that, but this patch was almost all the way there. So I'm gonna just hit replace sound, navigate through to organs and choose B3 organ worship. There we go, there it is. Awesome, okay, so this is starting to build up. I'm gonna save that, but I want the mod wheel only about halfway, so I'll update that there. And then towards the end, I definitely know that I want things nice and big. So I'm gonna bring in the octave effect from my piano, and I'm also gonna throw this octave effect on this pad. I love having octave up on pads for big moments. It just adds an octave above everything you play. It's similar to adding like a shimmer reverb, but because there's no long decay time, the pad stays really nicely playable. So we're gonna save that there. So now we have one. I'm gonna update this starting position so it's a little bit quieter, a little bit more ambient.
twice. So I'll save that. So now we have one, two, three. I'm gonna bring this mod wheel up too, and save that. Nice, and then smooth fades back down. So I think we've done this song justice. We are ready for our final song. Worship leader, hit me with that third song. Who you say I am. Ooh, that's a good one, okay. So let's add another patch from the library. What key are we going? Uh, G flat. G flat, you're hitting me with some weird ones, worship leader, it's Saturday afternoon. Okay, here we go, we can do it, we can do it. Don't be discouraged, everybody, we got this. Let's try this guy right here. So I'm really looking for that riff. I want to land that riff. Let me see. It sounds beautiful, but it's not quite big enough. So let's keep looking. Maybe this guy. There it is. There's the sparkle. Okay, we're going to add moderately mighty. And I'm going to rename who you say I am. Okay, and we're playing that in G flat. And our tempo? 86. 86. So we could just type that in here. 86. Awesome, okay, so here we are. We've only got four sounds for this patch out of the gate. Nice, that feels really good already. And then we've got this dulcimer I could bring up. Yeah, this is really a great choice for this song. So I'm gonna bring it even down a little bit in intensity by default. So I'm gonna turn off the octave. I'm gonna turn off that chorus as well. So we'll start the song here, and then we can start to bring the intensity up the first time we hit that riff. So I'm gonna add the octave up effect in and bring up these pads a bit, a little bit of brightness, but not too much. And then we've got to get to the big moments of the song where we definitely want more from the pads. You want this dulcimer filling space. It sounds like the tune. I feel really good about it because I'm able to fill space, glue things together with piano and pads, but I'm not sacrificing the cool piano riff in the right hand. And using a ready to play patch, I was able to get there very, very quickly. So now I've got my positions. One, two, three. And then building. And then let's build it up. So maybe back down to the middle for the bridge. Yeah, I think I'm really gonna be able to cover all the beats of this song with just these three snapshots. So just like that, we have Battle Belongs, Graves into Gardens, and Who You Say I Am, ready for Sunday at 3.30 p.m. on Saturday with minimal stress. And it's all because the Sunday Keys app makes it simple for you to build patches that have the sounds you need and also to find ready to play patches that will work for worship songs your band is already playing. Now, Sunday Keys app users, check this out. We'll put a link in the description to this exact set list. All you have to do is open that link on your Sunday Keys device. It will open the app and install this set list for you. So if you wanna play around with the programming that I've done live during this video, maybe even use it for your own worship sets, just tap the shared set list link in the description. If you don't have Sunday Keys, but what we've done in this video would be of help to you, check out the Sunday Keys app 
There's a link in the description where you can learn all about it. It's the only solution of its kind designed specifically for live worship keys players in a contemporary worship context. We think it's gonna save you time and inspire the worship keys position at your church. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Have a great day.